Steve Casty here. I'm going to look at an example today using jQuery to access a, an API over the web. Uh, and the API we're going to use is the Star Wars API, being built by some fan somewhere. Um, a Star Wars API allows me to get information about all of the Star Wars movies and characters and so on. We're going to use the um, films endpoint and we can have a look at what we get from that is if we do a get request on the API slash films, we get this JSON payload here and it contains a list of results here and the results is a list of all the movies. So we have the first movie, A New Hope, and that's got all the characters and things like that in there and the second movie, The Phantom Menace and so on. So we're going to use that and what we're going to try and do is to build a page that will uh, display the movies. We'll just look at the titles for now. Uh, so I have a little sample project uh, going. Um, this is my um, sample project. It's just got an index file at the moment and I'm loading the jQuery library and my script file here. Um, so script.js at the moment just does a very simple um, document ready handler. So this is, remember, the code that will be executed when the document has finished loading. And what I'm doing is I'm finding my info uh, ID and I'm appending a list item saying inserted from JavaScript in it. So let's have a look at what that does. Um, here's the example. When I load it, um, we get inserted from JavaScript uh, into there, uh, into the page. So that's my starter, and um, that's not really what I want to do, but that's, uh, that's, that's at least doing something and showing me that the JavaScript is actually working. So what I want to do is, here I've got the URL of the data that I want to access. What I need to do is to send a GET request to that URL and then arrange that uh, we're going to take the results of that and then whatever the results are, we're going to put them into the page. So let's deal with that first thing of having to do the GET request first. I'm going to use the jQuery get method. Um, so this is a function. It's dollar, which is remember the jQuery operator. So that's jQuery dot get, and uh, this is going to do a get request for me. It needs to know which URL we want to access, uh, and then we need to work out what we're going to do with the result. Um, so the URL. So we give it a, uh, a dictionary an object here, and it has uh, parameters. The URL. The URL here I've defined as a variable in my uh, JavaScript file, so I'm just going to reference that. And the second thing that we've got to do is uh, what's called a success handler. And so here we're going to introduce an idea which is particular to the way that JavaScript works, uh, which is asynchronous processing. Um, so when you, if you were to do this in Python, you would issue a GET request and the program would wait until the GET request had finished and come back, and then you would get the result and you would carry on with your code. In JavaScript, that doesn't, it doesn't work like that. We don't want to have the browser waiting and not doing anything while the request is being handled. And so what we do is use an asynchronous get, and that means that we send the request off, and then the rest of the application carries on doing things. It might be processing clicks on the mouse and moving the mouse and things like that. Uh, and we then what we do is we set up a handler so that when that request is finished, we have some code that will be executed. And that is what I'm going to write now. This is going to be a function, an anonymous function, and it's going to take the data that is returned by the get request. So here, this, this little bit of handler here is going to be called whenever the get request finishes, and it's going to be executed. I'm just going to do a console log at the moment of the data uh, just now. Let's, let's do another console log saying finished. Okay, so we're going to, um, well, you notice me putting in semicolons there. Semicolons are optional in JavaScript, and um, I'm trying to sort of not put them in uh, as a matter of style, but uh, I keep slipping into putting them in. Um, so what we should get here, if we execute this, when the document is ready, we'll get our inserted from JavaScript inserted in the page, and then we will issue a get request to the URL on the Star Wars API. Um, when that's finished sometime later, and that can take a while if the network is slow, um, then this function will be executed and we'll get a, a console log of finished uh, and we'll get the data uh, displayed in the console log as well. So we'll save that. Let's go back to our browser and, and try and run that. 
So I'll execute that. There's my uh, message inserted and you'll notice that sometime after that we get our finished message and we get this uh, object that's returned. So this is uh, the thing that is returned from the JavaScript API and you can see now we have in the results uh, element an array of seven movies uh, and we have the titles of those movies there. So we've got to the point where we have made that request. Uh, if we looked at the network you'd see that you know these are the requests that have been made and there's that request to the films API. Um, so we've made our request, we have the data now in our JavaScript uh, environment. So now I could actually write some code to um, insert all of those things into the page. Um, so because I've got a list of them, then uh, I'm going to say, I'll just let's just for convenience get a, um, a variable called films, which is the, the movie. So that's data, and that was results. Let's have a look again. So data, the results uh, element of that was the actual movies. And so now I'm going to have a for loop for i equals zero, i less than films, length i plus plus so this is a standard javascript for loop and then for every film what i want to do is i want to do something like this which is to insert something into that uh, info element in the page so i've got this in the page i've got my uh, unordered list here which is i've got the id info that's the thing that i'm targeting and i'm appending a list item instead of it saying the same thing each time um, I'm going to get it to say um, the title of the movie. So films.title. If we look at it, yeah, the, so each of the items in this array is an object and it has a title and it's got an episode ID. Let's put the episode ID in there as well. Uh, so we could say uh, episode uh, and then plus films dot episode ID and then uh, space and the title of the movie. So what we should now see is when we execute this, it should go and get that data. It will log it out to the uh, console again. And uh, so let's clear the console. So when we do this, we should see uh, the um, finished message and we should then see the data inserted in the page. So a little bit of a delay. Oh now in fact what we see is a syntax, a syntax error. So a missing close bracket after the argument list in uh, script.js line 17. Um, what have I missed out? Um, oh, so what I've missed out in fact here is a plus sign when I did my um, episode ID. Okay, so let's try that now. All right. Okay, so this is a bug. I've got episode undefined, undefined. That's interesting. Um, so we've got the um, data here. So why have I got undefined? Data dot results. So data is this thing here. Data dot results is an array. And oh, so instead of yeah, so films dot length. So in fact, what I wanted was I'm saying films episode ID. Films I is the actual film, All right? So films is an array. So films I is the actual entry in that array. So that makes sense. Silly bug. Okay, let's try again. So we're making the request. And I'm sitting in a hotel room here with a very slow internet connection. So you can see the delay there in actually making the request. And so it's now inserted all of these um, elements into the page uh, from the array that we got back in the results. And so we see episode four, two, one, three, six, five, seven, uh, and insert it into our page. So there's a very simple example of using jQuery to issue a get request. Now this is actually uh, it's sort of not called Ajax in this uh, thing, but this is an Ajax request, so asynchronous JavaScript and XML, an Ajax request. Uh, we're not using XML, obviously, we're using JSON, uh, but it's still de defined as an Ajax request. So when the document's loaded, we do this get request, and then when the get request returns, 
we're doing the logging and we're inserting the data into the page. So there's a simple example of using JavaScript to do an AJAX request. Mm -hmm.